Hello! Welcome to another one of my little video things that I do because reasons. Basically, to show people some editing tricks for the everyday Joe. And like last time, this one is in Premiere Pro as this is my main video editor. If you don't have Premiere Pro and you don't want to get Premiere Pro, a lot of these tricks can still be used in other software. You just have to find where the effects are and a couple little tweaks like that, but it should be fine. I'll probably do future videos covering that stuff later. <laughs> anyway, all right. For today's little video, we've got a denoise effect. I've had the opportunity to get to know and work with a few ASM artists, people who do ASMR content over the years, and through that, I've noticed that there are certain, AS certain ASM artists, typically outside of their control, who have a lot of background noise in their audios. Now, what I'm about to cover might not help with, like, dogs barking, people talking, cars screeching. It can, but it needs a little bit more tweaking than the simple fix that I'm showing here. This is mostly to cover white noise in the background. Say it's hot in the summer and you've got a fan in the background so you don't die of heat stroke, but it's making a bit too much noise. You can cut that out with this little effect. The same goes for a computer fan. Say, if, for example, me. Luckily, I have a microphone that's able to cut out the noise, but I do have my PC fan blowing right towards my microphone. Without the extra little tidbits that I have cutting that noise out, it would be a problem. But here's a fun little effect. And there's two, two ways to go about doing this. The first is you just go in here, it's in it's under audio effects, noise reduction, and there's a little denoise. You just go and drag this onto whatever audio clip you want. And there it is. This little thing pops up. And if you click on the edit, it pops up a little window. And in the little window, you can adjust the percentage of it. You need to be careful on this one because if the percentage is too high or too if the percentage is too high, it will mess up the audio quality really badly. It's not great. But if it's too low, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> and you can also adjust the gain. So there's the basics of the effect. And okay, then let's now experiment with this on some actual ASMR footage. I have been able to work with Bubbly Banana for a while now. She's an incredible person, and she was kind enough to allow me to work on <clears throat> some of her old footage for this video. Uh, her, her setup now is better than this one, so this is some older footage. She's been able to afford some upgrades to her setup now. So she allowed me to use some of her older footage to kind of show what this effect can do. So before we get into putting the effect onto this, let's take a listen as to what there is at the start. Now you can probably hear the what we're talking about here. It's this noise right here. That little hum in the background. It's the computer fan. It's in the background. Now we could use, you know, a variety of things, de-hum, so on and so forth. But we're fit. We're sticking to denoise on this, since this is the simple. We're not gonna go full in depth on audio fixing for this video. <laughs> That would take too much time. Anyway, basically, grab Denoise, put it on here, go into Edit, and you can start playing it right here, see how it sounds.
from your phone. You can tell it already sounds much better. It sounds much, much clearer. There is a little bit of weird noises here and there with some of the smaller noises. For example, any keyboard clicks or anything like that can get a little muffled as well. But say we want to turn it up even more, what will happen? Definitely like mm. Your hair is all wet. That's not good. You're gonna get a cold. We have to try it. Oh. Come on. I, I need you to sit down. So I can dry your hair a bit, okay? I brought this towel. I can actually show you guys what I'm doing down here since the recording won't show the little video. Well, Basically, no what we're doing is we're moving this up, of warming it up at 100%. So that you don't feel it's not cold bad, but you, it. but you can hear, but you can tell there's just that little bit yeah. of weirdness to the audio that just sounds off. Something about it sounds weird, right? So we don't want to turn it down too want, don't want to turn it up too high, but if we turn it down too low. And the noise is still there. So you want to find some some kind of middle ground. Somewhere, some sweet spot in the middle. This one, 50% actually isn't too bad. Though going with the default 40% isn't, isn't a bad idea either. Now, there's a second way to do this. We'll cover that right here with, with this half of the footage. Go in here to audio. Select dialogue. And you can set this to whatever. I you just do a subtle boost for her voice. And you go into repair. And see, so you can see all of the options for repairing audio. There's the D hum I was talking about. You can add that for computer noise, computer hum. That's usually what a lot of people go for. But the computer hum is quiet enough that it's actually wiped out with the with the reduced noise. Now here's where I get to show off a unique issue. That unique issue is for, this is for a people who do ASMR. This unique issue is triggers. Certain triggers, like this one here, is brushing the mic with a towel. There's hair brushing, there's uh, ear blowing, ear cupping. Different triggers that ASMR artists like to do can be problematic with this effect because they create enough white noise in and of themselves that using a, re a denoise effect actually reduces the quality of those triggers. So if you're an ASM artist and you're wanting to do this, be very careful because you're going to have to go in and actually tweak the level of noise reduction for those specific triggers which is where you're going to want to use the denoise effect itself. You can actually go in here and you can use this to create keyframes. So cover, say we want to cover this specific area right here, right? We want to cover between these two sections between after this section, it's a 54%, and before this section, it's a 54%, right? Then, move one over, and lower that to, say, 20%. It actually worked for me. Okay. There we go. So that way, you go here. It's if it, let's see, we'll start around here. It's a fifty-four percent right now. And then it lowers to twenty-four percent. Now, a harsh 
dip is probably not the best way to go about it. It's more you want more of a gradual one, so maybe go a few sec a few frames ahead and then at lower it yeah. gradually, but that's the kind of thing you're going to have to do if you want to work with specific triggers a little better. So keep that in mind. But if your roleplay is just a voice or if your video is just your voice or whatever, you're not doing AS ASMR, this, the denoise will be great for you. Highly recommend. So that's about it. That pretty much covers the basics of the denoiser. If you want it to be really fine-tuned, you are going to need to take some time to tweak, experiment, play around with it. See what works for your audio, see what doesn't work for your, your audio. Every audio is different. Can't really predict what's going to go down. If you need something more in-depth, there's plenty of other tutorial videos that go more in-depth out there. Some that cover other editing software. So just go out, have fun, and wish you luck with creating your video and as a final little note i want to say thank you to bubbly for letting me use your footage i really appreciate that it's been a lot of fun working with you up till now and i'm hoping to continue to work with you for a good while after this point um i will post a link to bubbly's twitch and her youtube in the description I'll also be posting a link to the Twitter and YouTube of one, the Arcand, who was kind enough to create some Animal Crossing themed public domain music, which I will be using for this video. I'm not using it while recording the video, so this is kind of weird to say before I've even put it in, but <laughs> he's an awesome guy, so go check him out too. But yeah. Have fun out there. Bye-bye.